What's up, gamers? Welcome to a new episode of Last Claudia. We are still in the collaboration for ReZero, uh, part two. So, uh, before we continue a little bit of housekeeping, I will say that the event has been okay. Uh, I know some people have mixed feelings, some think it's boring, there's not much going on. Honestly, I'm okay with it, just because... One thing that they've done so far that I actually do enjoy is the fact that they've incorporated the character's story into this game's world. This is something they also did with the Dr. Stone collab, so I actually appreciate the fact that they kind of, you know, mixed, you know, Rem and, uh, and Kyle and everybody kind of together, you know what I mean? So I think that's pretty cool. I'm good with that. Uh, it's kind of a chill event, nothing super crazy going on, and... This is also the first time when you've been able to really legit farm for shards for a character. I mean, you could if you have the characters, either one of them, you could literally max them out shard-wise easily. Especially since they've been giving out, you know, 10, uh, what was it, event orbs a day. Uh, I think they stopped as of today, but yeah, you, you could get hundreds of orbs, or a little over 100 orbs, and just go over and over over repeating stages and with the extra tickets you get you can actually choose which one you want to do so and, and they're not difficult either which was another surprising thing i really thought they were going to have like a level 100 or something like that to get a certain item or whatever but not at all and of course they also have the tours which is good too to have you know a way to get extra stuff you know what i mean so don't forget to get that going I've already got my two. We're now on the second area where you can get stuff, which will be done in about an hour. So, you know, like I said, it's been kind of a good chill event. You know, like I said, decent story, chill thing. Being able to grind shards, which is something we've never been able to do this well. You know, this is kind of one of those freebie events. If you get the character, I mean, you got it real easy. So that's interesting. So I'm okay with that. And of course you have this little thing here if you do all the stuff you get like rewards and whatnot. So like I said, they're they're doing decent things in this event. I'm actually okay with this collab. So it's not bad at all. Now, of course we're here to check out the new character, check out the new arc, and we're gonna do quite a few pulls here. Well, unless I actually get characters, but we'll see what happens. I don't see myself getting any of the actual arcs because uh, little known fact, I have never pulled an arc from a collab. Now, I don't count the SR ones because those are meant to be easy to get, like Stone World or whatever it's called in the, in the vacation one with Melza and all that. Like, those were super easy to get. But anything that would be considered an SSR, I absolutely have never pulled an arc. Not for the Christmas banner, not for uh, Dr. Stone, uh, any of them. Actually, Christmas wasn't really a collab, but all the actual collab ones I've never gotten the arcs for. It's just my looks. I don't expect to get it here either, and I'm okay with that. Now, if I get the character, I'll be super happy. But yeah, let's take a look at the actual uh, character first, who's going to be Rem. Uh, so this is a character that's been really, really hyped up from what I've been seeing lately, so let's see why. So looking at the stats here, uh, high hit points by the way, 4655, that's really, really high uh, for a physical DPS character, definitely going to be tanking. Uh, 1201 strength, which is phenomenal, really good. Uh, 1033 defense is really good too. Uh, and then of course intelligence of mine is about 7800, which is average I'll say, you know, it's okay. Uh, she has a lot of elemental resistance, so that's pretty cool. You know, so, you know, overall, just looking at her stats, she seems pretty solid. Now, when you look at her actual skills here, these are non, these are basically non-elemental, but non-attribute type attacks. So, you're not going to see any ice or anything like that. Uh, so, this is all going to be, like, neutral damage. And that's going to be important here, and you'll see why here in a bit. Now, the traits are really interesting. So it seems like you can play her two separate ways. You have the demon bloodline. So when she's demonized, which is uh, something you can activate, strength and defense plus 50%, MP regen, SCT recovery speed 
Physical attack damage cap plus 7,000. Hit points times 3. But no recovery. Which basically means she can't be healed or anything like that. I don't even think regen would work either. So no more healing. But when you're getting triple the HP, kind of makes sense. Because you're getting over 10k on average if you got a character maxed out. So pretty cool actually. And then of course you have Helper of the Hero. When she's undemonized, which I believe is her default, uh, for all allies, periodic HP regen and physical attack damage taken minus 20%. That's pretty strong, too. I like that. This is probably going to be something that you might see in Arena, possibly. You know, because like I said, all the allies getting periodic HP regen and physical attack damage, like cut in a fifth. That's, that's pretty strong in Arena and possibly Tower and all kinds of stuff. So, just looking at that, I mean, she sounds like she's going to be really solid for multiple types of events, if not everything. Let's take a look at her skills. So, she has one spell, uh, Horn of the Demon. It's going to cost 24 MP, temporarily demonetized unit. So, that was that, or de demonetized. God, I can't believe I said that. Uh, temporarily demonize unit uh greatly recover hp and, and recover you know just like we just said earlier actually no this is different greatly recover hp and recover one sct use of each skill one per way oh so that's actually something special you get when you do it that's pretty cool that's actually really strong and all you have to do is just pay the mp cost to do it very nice you, and it's cool that you get the choice to activate it you could just kind of wait and just kind of you know bait do the whole, like, you know, teamwork thing, and then when you're fighting a boss, just activate Horn of the Demon, and boom, just go off. Now, the skills are interesting. The passive skills. She has Fighting Spirit 4. Uh, this is different. This is Strength and HP plus 10%. Very, very good ability. This is not something you can learn from any arc, so this is definitely unique to her. Uh, you have Crit up 2 and 3, and Vitals, so... She got, she got a decent amount of crit package right there, so that's not bad. She has Royal Armor, which usually costs 8 SC, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of put that on Melza back in the day. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, Brute Slayer, now I love Brute Slayer. This is actually one of my favorite skills in this entire game. Uh, so we've seen this before. You get basically Slayer effects for beast plants, insects, birds, fish, and creatures. You know, basically just playing the game. You can basically slayer almost everything, almost. Uh, Auto Bray, which I think is good. I don't know how much it costs. I think it's like 7 or something like that. So that's good for her since she's physical DPS. Auto Haste, which I believe costs 14, if I'm not mistaken. So the fact that you don't have to pay for it is fantastic. That just makes her a much better unit. Uh, Fury is okay. Awaken, absolutely love Awaken. We've talked about that ability before. No attribute attack raise two. So that's awesome. So this is no attribute attacks do 30% damage. And then of course you can actually learn the uh, attack raise one from an arc that already exists. So you can basically stack those and you're good to go. Bless speed, which I think also costs eight SC. That's good to have automatically. She gets hammer boost. So when a hammer is equipped, physical attack 7% and strength plus 5%. Which is uh, super strong. And I kind of like that we actually have a hammer user. Because most of the tier characters that we have don't use hammers. Now I have De Devin. But I've never used him. But I think he's a hammer user too. But I don't ever hear anyone talk about it. So I don't even know if he's any good or not. But it's nice to see a new character that's super strong that uses a hammer. Because there are tons of hammers out there that I have that I just don't even use. Because I don't really do much with hammers. It's usually swords or... You know, rods or something. Sharp Eyes, which is uh, pretty good for each attack. Consume 3% MP to get 50% more damage. I've always been iffy about Sharp Eyes. You know, because it's like when you run out, you're not, you know, you're kind of doing your base kind of attack. You know, so you kind of have to have other skills to balance that out for that to be super effective or to be consistent, really. So I've always been kind of iffy on Sharp Eyes, but, you know, it's okay to have a Breaker. It's always good. I don't know if she's necessarily a breaker unit, but giving her breaker for free is pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Rabbit Recovery is okay. And here we go with some uh, more custom abilities. So Twin Maids, when physically attacking, chance 
for extra damage, so that's always good. Uh, I like that. I don't know what the percentage is, but hey, more is better. Another ability, don't you dare touch him. It says, when an ally is near death, chance to activate Horn of the Demon once per wave. Huh. Interesting. So this basically is a way for her to automatically use it. I'm assuming that it's not going to cost you MP if they just activates it. So that's because the Horn of the Demon is the, uh, if we go back up here, is that right there where it transforms her into a, you know, basically demonizes her. So this makes it free, I'm assuming. And then she has Morning Star Boost. Now this is interesting and also unique. When equipped, when equipping a hammer, physical special damage plus 10%. Physical attack damage cap 1,000 and then special damage cap 2,000. So that's pretty cool too. So this kind of boosts hammers obviously and this is just a way for her to be able to do more damage and potentially reach the you know damage cap threshold and then to make it even better there's morning star high boost which is basically physical special damage with hammers 20 percent physical attack damage cap 2000 special damage cap 4000 so it's become clear that the new standard is break damage limit you know at first it was you know having a high attack uh having you know no strength and crits and all that stuff, attack up four being the thing. Now it's like every time we get a new character, it's damage cap. Now, I'm okay with it. I like damage cap. I think it's a good thing to have. It's more of a show off skill because unfortunately with a lot of the strong bosses that you fight, you usually don't get to get to that damage cap limit because their defense or mind is too high, depending on what type of damage you're dealing. So it's almost like you never get to really reach that damage cap. I mean, unless you do a very specific build uh, where you get like, you know, a bunch of like, you know, max level, max everything and just put everything on strength or whatever. But I still like it though, because on the lower levels you get to kind of show off. So I'm cool with it. But yeah, I mean, overall, this is a fantastic character. Again, she's a neutral damage dealer, which I'm always a big fan of. Keep in mind, you don't want to rely on that because a lot of events that I've seen now, uh, the bosses seem to have neutral, you know, damage resistance. So that's kind of why they're allowing this because, you know, the game already has ways to defend against that. But overall, this is a fantastic character. 100% top tier. I 100% want this character because I actually like uh, neutral damage dealers. So, yeah, I hope I get her. You know, I think I have a better chance of getting Rem than the Ark, so that's a good sign for me. But before we do any pulls to see if I can get her, we gotta talk about the actual Ark itself. Now, this Ark actually has a picture of her on it called From Zero. The Ark attribute, SCT recovery speed 10%, skill damage 20%. When the skills From Zero activates, auto cast Grand Brave and Grand Aura. When the unit dies, revive a random incapacitated ally once per wave. I like this. This is a fantastic arc attribute, especially for tower, especially for tower, because there are times when you get high enough where certain characters will just one shot your entire team. And it's ridiculous. Like you barely start the match and you're done with this, a random character gets revived. I like that. I like that a lot. So this this is really, really good just by the attribute itself. Uh, also, you can learn some interesting abilities. Uh, you have a lore, which if I'm not mistaken, that's the... Uh... Hold on a second. I hit the wrong button. There we go. We have a lore, which increases rate of being uh, attacked by enemies. It's, you know, we've seen it before. It's not bad if you got someone that's really tanky. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Uh, clothes boosts, which I actually like. I like clothing boosts. Uh, when clothes are equipped, defense and mine plus 5%. Physical attack damage plus 5%. I put this on pretty much all my physical DPS characters that wear clothes. So I'm good with that. Skill charge 3, which is decent. Sorcerer shield, which is okay. I'm really not into the shield type abilities. But, uh, you know, it's not bad from zero so here's the actual ability right here 
When taking lethal damage, MP to zero and HP barely recovers for 10 seconds. Uh, 50% minus damage taken once per wave. So, okay, okay, hold on. So for 10 seconds, you get 50% damage taken, is less taken, yeah. So you're shrugging half damage, basically. So that's pretty good. For 10 seconds, that's actually a long time in this game. So that's really, really good. I like that. Uh, then, of course, you have your demon-like way. Battle start, auto cast, grand brave, critical, and speed. That's a fantastic ability. Now, obviously, this isn't going to last forever. It's going to eventually go away, but I still think that's pretty good. I mean, crit, speed, and brave, that's a really good way to start off. So, yeah, I think this is definitely worth having. It's a really good arc. Definitely top tier from what I've seen so far. Uh, let's take a look at the actual item. Now, this is a one, two, three, four, four. Okay, it's a six star item. Okay. This is Rim's headband. So, HP 150, uh, defense and mine 60. No attribute physical attack damage plus 10%, and reduced magic damage by 10%. So that's actually strong. I like this a lot. This is definitely something you want to give to her, uh, like Rim or Randy or Balin. So you definitely have a few characters that would love to have this. So yeah, this is this is super strong. And you also get illness resistance as well, which is also okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm 100% cool with this particular arc. Like I think this is also a top tier arc for every reason. You have great skills to learn. The arc attribute is super strong, and the item that you can get is also super strong. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. Alright, so the question is, am I even going to see any of this? Now, I've already made my prediction. I have a chance to get Rim, possibly, in these pulls. We'll see. But I don't see myself getting the arc. I really don't, because I never get them in the uh, collaboration banners. So we're going to start with a step up. Well, you know what? No, let's do the free stuff first. We got some freebies. Let's use them up. And you have to excuse my voice. I've been talking at work all day off and on, doing meetings and stuff. So, losing my voice here and I haven't drank any water for a while. Ugh. Anyway, let's see if we can get a... I'm opening three packs right now. I'm glad that they did the update to where you can actually open them together instead of just one at a time. Because that was so annoying. All right, Kyle, give me something good, man. And when this doesn't give me what I want, I'll definitely go to, like, something else. All right, so it did turn yellow, so that was okay. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So that thing we've not seen before, we're good there. I don't know if I have any other weird tickets or not. That's the other event, and that doesn't give you anything. All right. So we can go to the actual step, or the paid step up gotcha. I actually don't mind doing these. Because if I do end up pulling a character, I can always use the uh, paid resources I get to get a weapon or item. Which I will also be discussing after this is all done. But yeah, honestly, this is a really good set of characters and arcs from this collab. It's a really strong collab for that, really strong. I'm digging it. So not only do I actually like the event and the content, the chill pace, the decent story, but I also like the characters and the arcs. I mean, uh, the devs did a good job here. I appreciate that. Alright, so let's continue on with the step up. We're just going to do step ups up until these three are done. And then I might do like one or two multi pulls. We'll see. And the only reason I'm willing to actually spend a bunch is because I actually do want the character and the arc. So, I'll pay a little... I'll use up my resources for it. Not gonna get nothing here. Yeah, that's all right though. Like I said, you can't get them all the time, but we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep doing this. And if I don't get it today, there's always a chance I can get it off screen. Because most of the time I get these characters and arcs off screen, so, you know. But it's always cool to kind of get them on video if we can catch it. All right, let's see what we can get here. Starting off yellow, so that's a good sign. We just hope it turns. 
Now, the arcs that we're going for are limited. So LR arc is what we want here. So this is just red, so we're not going to get it. It's just going to be an SSR that we already have. Wait a minute. Oh, it turned green. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time, and I'm not even joking. I can show you all my arcs. This is the first time I've ever pulled, like, one of these arcs from a collaboration banner. So, yes, absolutely. I didn't think it would turn green at the last second. I guess I've never seen it work that way. That is awesome. So, I'm, I'm good now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want rim, but, man, that is legit. And I will show you after I'm done with these multi pulls that I don't. Actually, I'll just show you right now. I'll show you all of these arcs. Now, of course, I'm going to show you the SSR because that's where all of these would come from, which I already have highlighted. But yeah, if you look at my art collection, none of these are from collabs. This is all stuff that you can get throughout the story that are not limited. Again, this is all, like, like I said, none of this with the exception of what I just got, which is under LR. This is the only, what did I just do here? Did it like, hold on a minute. I think something went wrong happened here. Hold on. For some reason it's blending or something. There we go. See, the one limited arc. And of course I have the UR, which you've already seen before. All right, let's go back to some more multiples. Cause let's see if we can't get rim. Because now if I can get rim, we're good to go. We're not going to do any more gotchas, though. As far as, like, paid gotchas, we're going to do the freebies now. So let's do a multi-pull. Just a straight-up regular multi-pull. I've got some gems to burn, so let's burn them. If I don't get rim on this pull, I might do one more multi-pull, and then that'll be it for me. And starting off yellow, that's a good sign. That is 100% a good sign. Now, the characters, I think, still are pulled as red. I think it's just the arcs that are green. And this is not going to change, unfortunately. But I'm actually super hyped that I got the arc, though. Because, again, that never happens for me, ever. All right, one more multiple, and that's going to be it for today. And trust me, this is the time that you definitely want to get characters, because you can easily... Like, max them out shard-wise, which is, like, the rarest thing you can get for characters. Alright, so it's yellow. And that's it. I guess I used up all my luck on that arc, which is fine. I'm good with that. And who knows, maybe sometime off-screen I'll be able to pull a rim, because that's always a possibility. There's still, you know, two more weeks to go in this event. Uh, during the time of this recording, you know, so there's lots of freebies coming as far as new tickets I'll probably be getting some more gems for random reasons. So I'll be all right. I will be all right. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, The marketplace weapons The paid items if you will uh, Thanks gonna be credentials number two All right, so let's take a look at rims morning star now, obviously, this is of the uh, hammer, or this is the hammer type of equipment. One, two, three, four, five stars. Strength 170, which is strong. Uh, defense 25, mine 15. Uh, rim only, physical attack, special damage cap 1,000. It was if she needed more of a damage cap. Chance for, phys chance for physical damage plus 50%. That's pretty strong. So this is really giving her a chance to get to that damage cap. So that's pretty good. Strong weapon, 100%. I think it's good. It's also non-attribute. Uh, rims made uniform. Now this is a clothing, five stars. Rim only, you got 250 HP, 30 strength, 101 defense, and 94 mine. So the stats alone are fantastic. Uh, so rim only, boost to movement speed, which I love. Boost to defense and mine as HP drops up to 30%. Okay, I kind of like the idea of the, the less HP you have, the more your defense and, and anything else increases. I actually like that because there is a... I'm not sure if it's a weapon, an armor, or an accessory, but I have it where it's like the lower the HP, the, the greater the defense in mine. Like, that's something that does exist in another item that I actually have. You know, this is more limited, though, but the other one has less stats. I think there's a difference. 
Also with this particular item, you get resistance to blind, which is really good too. Uh, so I believe she might be weak to blind, the actual character. So there you go. That might be a way to kind of mitigate that. But I actually think this is a fantastic uh, uh, clothing. You know, because usually these paid items, I typically like the weapons, but I don't usually like the other thing that goes with it or I'm like okay with it. This I actually think is good. I, If I were to get Rim, I would consider throwing my money at the screen to get both items. Because typically I'll just get the weapon, but I may get both if... I get Rim. And, and there's a chance I might not get it. I don't always get the collab characters. As a matter of fact, on the slime one, I didn't get anything. No character, no arc, no nothing. Which, honestly, I was okay with because I wasn't really feeling the characters too, too much. Like, you know, the second character was super strong, but, you know, I was okay without her. I really want these characters. Well, I want Rim. The other one, Amelia, she's good too, which I was able to get. Um, but... Man, overall, like, good weapon, good item, good clothing, good, great art, great character. I mean, this is literally the total package. And keep in mind that with this event going on, you can also easily farm for unit shards of either Rim or uh, Amelia, your choice. And just to kind of show you kind of how easy it is to get these characters. I have Amelia. I have actually been, you know, grinding for her stuff. I've already got her awakened to four, and uh, I've already got her at, you know, bonus SC. Oh, well, I've got her at bonus SC four, and, you know, like I said, I've easily been able to just kind of get more and more and more shards for her. And I'm not even using Mother Souls either. This is just shards I've been getting from the event that has been pushing her this far. Now, I haven't really been spending all of my tickets to pu push her because... I was saving it for potentially getting the second character being Rim. Because if I get Rim, I'm definitely going to be blowing a ton of tickets to get her shards. But if not, I may use the tickets just to get more shards for Amelia. Just so I don't have to worry about putting her in my light up to slowly get shards. But, yeah, that's how easy it is, ladies and gentlemen. Super easy. Super easy. And yes, I do like Amelia. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. Like, I hope you guys are lucky. I hope you guys get the characters you want, get the arcs you want. I was lucky for the first time ever to get, you know, a limited, will be considered an SSR arc. I'm super happy about that. You know what I'm saying? So, good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. Super happy. All right, so I uh, hope everybody else enjoyed this event. Like I said, this has been a decent collab. Like I said, I got nothing bad to say about it. I absolutely like it. And uh, I hope you guys like it too. Until the next set of things comes out, you guys keep gaming and take care, y'all. Later.